Migration has been a major cause of disagreement between the UK and the EU in the past. It may very well have been the one issue that brought about Brexit. But could it be that in the future, migration is one area where the two sides have more in common than what we might think? Welcome to Bridge the Channel. One thing British and European politics have in common is the high salience of the issue of migration. Voters on both sides of the channel usually cite migration as one of their top concerns, but we can also perhaps see that migration might offer opportunities for a closer relationship between the UK and the EU. Actually, migration has been the one area where the current Conservative government, even though formerly a Brexit government, has tried to maintain relations and find new avenues of cooperation with European leaders. See, for example, the meetings between Prime Minister Sunak and Giorgia Meloni of Italy. Even more importantly, perhaps, uh, migration shows one area where both sides follow a common approach, and that is the extraterritorial management of migrants and asylum seekers. The UK, of course, is trying to get off the ground its uh, infamous Rwanda scheme, but let's not forget that this is also the direction of travel for EU migration policy, with regards, for example, deals with Tunisia or with Albania. In other words, migration is one area area where both sides seem to be converging on a common approach about how to manage the inflows of people into Europe. Perhaps this also means that there will be more ground for cooperation in the future. Now, one lesson here for the EU is that it perhaps it may want to observe closely what the UK is doing on this issue. The Rwanda scheme has been maligned as being very uh, impractical, uh, expensive, probably having no effect at all on the flows of migrants and asylum seekers into the UK. But these are exactly the problems that the EU is expected to face when it tries to implement its own extraterritorial schemes of managing migrations. On this issue, as well as on others, the EU would be well advised to look at what the UK uh, is trying to do, because many of the challenges of uh, the UK may well soon be the EU's. One final thought. It is commonly assumed that closer relations between uh, the UK and the EU is something that would take place on progressive and liberal values of supranational cooperation and overcoming nationalism. Particularly here in the UK, ideas of closer relations with the EU are especially associated with this liberal progressive side of the political spectrum. Migration, however, may show a different way forward. It may well be that in the future, the closer relations between the UK and the EU will take place not on those progressive liberal values, but on ideas of hardcore national security and border protection. <music>